my name is Peter Lobel, and I'm a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology at Robert Hood Johnson Medical School, and also a member of the Center for Advanced Biotechnology and Medicine, CABM, at Rutgers. This patent um, grew out of the discovery that my colleague, long-term colleague David Sleet, and I made on the cause of a fatal childhood neurodegenerative disease, an inherited disease called late infantile neuronal ceroid lipofusionosis, or LINCL. And these children develop normally until about age three, in which case they get seizures. And then they start going downhill, um, lose all their mental, lose mental function, ability to speak, they go blind. And by the time they die, which is typically 10 years of age, um, about a third of the nerve cells, a third of the neurons in their brain have died. So it's, it's really a disease from hell. A couple of students of mine a few years earlier um, had developed a tool that we could use to look at changes in, in proteins um, that, that live in the, a, cell, a compartment in the cell called the lysosome, which is a cent central digestive compartment of the cell, sort of like the cell's stomach. David Sleet, who uh, a terrific scientist who joined me in 1993, started prospecting doing all sorts of different work. We happened to know that there were a group of lysosomal diseases that hadn't been solved, so we started to get specimens from patients who had, the, had these types of diseases, and this is one of the diseases that we discovered the cause of. The day David and I looked at the first experimental evidence looking at a we actually had a, had a brain autopsy sample from a child who died of this disease, LINCL, and we, we applied our method to, to look for changes in proteins in that, and we saw one protein disappear. And we both looked at each other and we said, this is it, you know, we, we have something. I mean, it, it was, it was that's, these are the sort of the moments you live for. So right now, the, the treatment is, is that Neurosurgeons surgically implant a port um, that, that has a catheter that goes into the ventricle of the brain and they actually administer recombinant protein every two weeks to, to the children. And this requires a massive amount of, of enzyme, so it's a lifelong treatment. Sitting here looking at this really cool room and <laughs> I mean, that, that Edison was a pretty amazing guy so I'm uh, I'm really honored to to be getting that. <laughs>